All right, first of all, I want to give all glory to my God, Yahweh, Yahweh, Jehovah, my Jesus, Yahshua, HaMashiach, and my Holy Spirit, Ruach Kadesh. All right, in this video, um, basically, I just want to share uh, two quick visions with you that I had uh, recently. Um, one of them was about three or four days ago. And in the vision, I saw uh, a skyscraper. It was, like, towering above all the other uh buildings and everything that was below um and on the front of this skyscraper it was like a huge diamond um i don't know how big the diamond was but it covered the whole side of the skyscraper i might have shared this one already with you um but i believe this is like treasures and rewards one thing that i come to uh understand by watching a lot of heavenly testimonies dreams and visions and things that people have shared is that when when you um, when you share the gospel and spread the good news of Jesus Christ with people, what happens is uh, those people, depending on who you are, from my understanding, they will live with you when you get to the kingdom of God. Um, and yes, there's like a city, and it's written in the word of God. And uh, inside of the diamond, on this in front of this humongous skyscraper, I saw uh, I saw like a I guess it was like a gem or maybe a ruby or something. And the color of it was, uh, I think it was blue and then red. So it's like they were, on, they were stacked on top of one another, but it was a huge diamond right on the front of it. And I was looking at it from, like I was in the air, st like maybe staring staring from another one that was across from it. And um, so that's the first vision, a dream. Another thing you gotta remember is in the, in the word of God is written that uh, we sit in heavenly places in, in Christ Jesus. So once you receive the Lord into your life, you got to remember that your spirit can be in heaven. You know, you're down here in the body. I don't understand it fully, but your spirit can be in heaven. It's in the word of God in Christ Jesus. I can't remember if it's in the book of Hebrews or the book of Ephesians. I believe it's in one of those two books where it talks about we sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Um Another vision that I had recently was, uh, I think it was the day before yesterday. Um, I think it was Friday night. Yeah, the day before yesterday. So what happened was, uh, in this vision, just a quick vision, I saw these red rubies and, like, diamonds. I don't know if they were crystal. I don't know if they were diamonds. Um, but it looked like they were all mixed in together. So it was like red rubies and diamonds mixed in together. I saw a quick vision of it. Um, and if you know the word of God in the book of Revelation, they talk about different found gemstones being the foundation of the of uh, heaven, or the um, heavenly kingdom, the new Jerusalem. Um, well, let me make sure. I got to look that up. But I believe it's talking about, uh, I'm not sure if it's the new Jerusalem or the whole, or the most holy city. That has the foundation, um, the um, the gemstone foundation. But you can look that up in the book of Revelations. Um, so and we know about the golden streets that are up there. And it talks about the different beings and creatures that have been created. So we know that these things are up there. Gemstones and um, different rubies and crystals and, and beautiful things like that. Um, so And it's written. All right. So those are just two quick um visions that i had recently and that's all i just wanted to share with you for encouragement remember to keep looking up lord jesus can come at any moment jesus is coming at any moment trumpet could blow i heard it in a few dreams already um and it was just encouragement for me just to keep continue to spread the good news and if you don't know jesus christ accept him into your life today as your personal lord and savior and remember like just continue to read the word. Prayer is very important. Prayer is one of the most important things you can do. Like, keep praying and keep strengthening your faith in the word of God. Continue to just seek. Continue to worship. Listen to some worship music. You know, try not to, you know, follow man being sin and do what you see others doing. It's about building your own personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. So continue to just seek, read the word, and pray, pray, pray. All right, many of us are going through a lot of spiritual warfare at this time and um, attacks from the enemy, bad thoughts being planted in our head. All them thoughts are from the enemy. 
all the negative thoughts that you receive, all the bad thoughts are from the enemy. So if you think about it, if you're listening to certain kind of music or you uh, watching certain things on TV, you got to see what spirit is behind that. What spirit would be behind that uh, entertainment? What spirit would be behind that program? What spirit would be behind uh, that production? Is it the spirit of the Lord? Or is it a spirit that's going to make you lust? Is it a spirit that's going to make you tempted to do things that you're not supposed to do? Because um, remember, you can you can be adding to your own um, spiritual warfare if you are entertained by certain things that, you know, will make you feel that way, make you tempted, make you, you know, those different kind of ways. So just be aware of that and um, just continue to seek the Lord. And know that all them thoughts that are, are that are bad like that, negative thoughts, are from the enemy. It's spiritual warfare. So continue to seek. If you don't know Jesus, there'll be some information below for you. Um, I love you. Jesus love you. And we're going home soon. All right? God bless you.